Hey everybody, this is my look with the Bare Minerals. Um, oh my gosh, I just saw another snowflake. We just had like three inches of snow. Uh, anyways, so the, I'm using all of the Bare Minerals products that I bought when I went, did my um, ordering. Oh my gosh, it's just so beautiful. <laughs> I am using the Bare Minerals Mineralist, the Treasured Holiday Eyeshadow Palette. Mineralist Hydra Smoothing Lipstick Trio. Eyeshadow, um, I'm sorry. Uh, mascara in Strength and Length and Mascara Duo. The their bronzer in Warmth, a blush and exhilarate, and the Gen Nude. You had me at Merlot. Now I'm doing this intro again because I, I don't know what happened. I went downstairs and I downloaded all of my videos um, from this filming into my computer, my laptop, and the whole first segment is gone. You know what? I don't even know where. I, yeah, okay, I think, yeah, so it cut off when I had realized I had forgotten the mascara, <laughs> so I came, I ran downstairs and got the mascara. I don't know what happened to the whole first beginning of the segment, but, um, so you're getting a sneak peek now. Stick with me, watch it throughout the video, see which products I use, which colors, and which order, and then you'll see the finished look at the end again. Anyways, I don't know, I always have such dramatic filming experiences or editing experiences, whatever you want to call it, but I, I still love doing it. <laughs> um, so this is why I'm backtracking and giving you the info and the full look. Um, but I hope you stick with me and watch it through to the end anyways. Okay. So I'll carry on. What's that? Yeah. Keep calm. Carry on. Mine is, my little saying is just smile. Just smile. You get through it. <laughs> Thank you ran up and down those stairs. I'm actually filming for the first time today upstairs in my daughter's bedroom. Um, the downstairs area that I was in, it was just too... Every time somebody was coming over, I had to move everything. So I'm trying... To, and the lighting was horrible. So I am in front of a window. Um, I do have my ring light that my son got me for my birthday. And so I might set that up in the corner here if this lighting today, when I'm trying it out, doesn't work out so great. But, okay, so you have a different background to look at. And I haven't decorated it for Christmas or anything yet. Um, next time. So, okay, so this is the Bare Minerals Full Length Strength and Length Mascara Duo. And I don't really know what this is. You know, all of their stuff now, which I love. I mean, I've always been a huge fan of them anyways. Um, but they're really promoting their clean products clean without compromising performance and so I'm excited that they're doing that because I don't I don't think they get enough credit for that and which is you know one of the reasons why I always used them was because they have excellent pigmentation excellent blendability uh, their their foundations are amazing the powder foundations are incredible I have the pressed powder um, I wear a medium beige in that so anyways I have not tried either of these Oh, okay, so I guess it's just two of them. I thought it works like one strengthens, one lengthens, but no. It's it's one nice. That's even better because I hate fussing with too many things. So that's the mascara. So let me just get started with my face and putting on my complexion rescue. My favorite brush that I use to dab this on. So just a little, just a little pouch fill in there and I just start tapping it all around. Um, my sweater, I figured I would introduce my sweater while I'm doing this. I just got this at Kohl's. I was actually buying flannel sheets. I went in for flannel sheets, came out with a sweater. <laughs> I'm sure some of you can relate and you know how that goes. Get those, oh, those terrible marks on the insides of my nose and I've tried so many different types of um, nose brackets, whatever they would be called, to try to prohibit that from happening. Um, and it just still does. Oh, my hair gets everywhere. Just to kind of, just to make sure it's all really blended in well. I've never had a problem with this stuff setting up under my eyes, kind of like a concealer. And I like that it's the, the SPF for my eyes. I'm so excited about trying this stuff. I can't wait. Another hair. OK. 
Okay, now that that's done, I'm going to use my Bare Minerals um, Mineral Veil, the original Mineral Veil. Must have tipped this upside down carrying it up here. So, swirl it. Ooh, look at it all going. Yeah, I don't want to waste it. So you swirl it, swirl it, swirl it. Tap, tap, tap. You can see the extras falling off. And then you just do a very broad, light sweep. Right across my eyes. I'll go back in for a little bit more. This gives such a sheer, light, um, finished look. I, I just, I love this stuff. Okay, then I just like to fluff all around. You know, they say that you have to warm up the minerals anyway, so. I just realized I forgot my eyebrow. Oh, maybe it's in there. Switching places is really hard. I had everything set up and in drawers down there. And now I'm just a little bit discombobulated, but that's okay, I'll work it out. Flawless finish. I just, I haven't found anything, you know, um, Wet n Wild's Photo Focus Foundation gives a flawless look. So for a base color going all over my lid, I'm going to use the Moonstone color right there. I'm just going to kind of blend that right all up and over and use it just as a, oh, it's so pretty pearly. I'm just using it as a um, brightener. Put a little bit more on the inside. A little bit more on the inside there where I like it to be really bright. Again, you guys all know I have hooded eyes. I have to do the details that work for a hooded eye. This is really just so pretty. It's very faint, um, but it's exactly what you want for a very neutral backdrop. Okay, so I'm going to start defining my crease with my oh, uh, Bare Minerals lid line and crease. I think for my crease, if I, I'm, I think I'm going to try Cinnabar, that one. See how this one goes? Oops. See, look at that. There's no powder fluff. I am just going just below my brow bone, lifting my lid a little so I can see, pulling up into that V area. You don't want anything going downward. Carrying it over just a little bit onto the first half of my lid. And then just working it back into that crease. I don't want to carry it too far over into the crease. It's so pretty already. Okay, moving over here. Same thing, under just under my brow bone. Now I'm gonna go over this with a little bit bigger of a of a um fluffy brush just to blend that crease out. I'm going to deepen that crease a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to fluff it with just a little bit of this brush, which is just from Ether... P oh, Kayla. This is my Kayla brush. I'm just going to move some of that up and around. And then I'm going to go back in and deepen the crease just a little bit. I just want to make sure I'm, I'm covering the lid where I want it to be covered. So I'm taking another one of my bare mineral brushes and I'm going to just tap into that cinnabar again and just really work into the, where I want my crease defined. There we go, if you can see the difference. Just really working that in there. There we go. I do try to do this with my eyes mostly wide open. 
I feel like I get a better idea of where things are at with creating that crease. Okay, now I'm just going to kind of transition that in a little bit better with my, my shading brush. And I want to pull in pink topaz because I did want to try to use more of the pink tones for this look today. I am not one that typically does pink on my eyes. Um, I guess I've just been a little intimidated by it. This is very um, light pink with a beautiful shimmer. Just kind of putting that all over the center. And then I will probably deepen it back up again with the cinnabar in the corner. Depends on if I lose too much of my crease. Okay, flat, pouncing that on right there. And I do think I want to go back in with just a tiny bit more of that cinnabar where I lost just a little bit. See, it's always easier to add on than to try to take off. Start with a little, work your way up. There we go. Okay, and now I'm going to use, I'm going to go back with that same shader. I'm going to use the, what's it say? Rubalite? This one. That really pretty one right there. So I'm going to pounce on that one. That's what it looks like on. I'm just going to push that into the outer corner. Right over top of where I put the cinnabar. Oh, it's so pretty. What a gorgeous, um, that's a really gorgeous, like a raspberry. Kind of a tawny raspberry. <sighs> okay, that one gave me a little bit of fallout on my cheek, but that could be because I... push so hard on the actual palette. Okay. So here we are so far. And then I'm going to take a different shader brush. I'm going to use my angled shader and mm, rich amethyst. I want to pull this right into the corner. That one right there, rich amethyst. And this is going to go right here. just in that V, right at the edge of that V. Okay, I'm going to pull it up right into my crease, slightly over and in. I hope I'm doing these evenly. Make sure nothing's coming below the corner of my eye palettes like I have right here and with their powdered ones. This palette is beautiful colors and um, picks up nicely on the brush, but I'm having a little bit more trouble blending the colors and it could just be because I'm not used to using pinks. So maybe it's, it, it could be my, my technique where I'm just having a little bit more trouble getting the color that I want. Um, Cause I really am not even sure what color I'm, what I'm going for. I'm just trying them all in moving from darker to lighter. Right there, that one, it's like a grayish. Just kind of pull that right up over everything. I think like it'll be a nice, yeah, that's really pretty. That just kind of blends everything right together. Very light sweep of it. They really did do a beautiful job of uh, coordinating all these colors. Okay, so now here comes my punch with, I am going to do a little bit of this one. What's that one? Sorry, it's upside down. Gilded Amber and then Golden. So let's try this one. Right in the center where my eye opens and closes the, right above my pupil. There we go. Ooh, this one I'm getting a lot more fallout. So this... Oh my goodness, I'm not getting, I'm going to have to use my fingers. I don't think this is working very well with a brush. 
There we go. That's a finger color. Don't even bother with a brush. Look at how it applies with my finger. It's stunning. Okay, so now I have just patted that around. Look at my fingertip. It's so beautiful. Okay, can you see that now? And now I want to try to use the um, golden over top of that. And I guess I will use my middle finger for that one. So you see the difference between the two? This is the gilded amber and this is the golden. So I want to apply the golden just on the inner portion. It's very, very pigmented. <laughs> Oh my goodness, it is so pretty. It is a very beautiful, festive look. There we go, can you see it? I hope you can. I hope it's coming out. Camera as stunning as it is, right here in my room. My favorite crease brush. Okay. I'm just gonna take a few things up. This is a delight of um a delight of mauvey purpley gold i don't even know what to describe it because i'm not used to pinks but it's really really so so pretty all right now i just want to take that edge off up here there we go blend it up and out oh my goodness it's so pretty I, I don't know. I'll try to get in close. Mascara. Now this will really... Oh, no, I'm sorry. I meant to do the... Um, there is a black in here. Right there. Black. Smoke, it's called. I just want to do a very thin line right along my lashes. Just like that. You can see that I'm just tight lining right above my lash line. And I'm actually going to make a little, a little teeny wing. I have never done a wing liner. That will be something entirely new for me that I have yet to venture into. Uh, not sure if my eye shape would be good for them, but I feel like I got so much. I, this is why I don't like to use this because it's such a waste. But then again, it wasn't applying well with the brush. Okay, here we go with the mascara now. So here, ooh, okay, so this is one of those, it looks like a centipede. This is really interesting. It curves downward. Okay, so let's try this out. I'm not really sure which way I'm supposed to hold it. Oh my goodness, I never thought I'd need instructions for how to put mascara on, but I really... I don't know what I'm doing with this brush. Can you see the difference? It's really working nicely, but I'm just, I feel like I'm not using it the way it's meant to be used. Okay, so I guess you just hold it flat. Yep, I am holding it flat so that all of the bristle parts are connecting with my lashes to pull them up and separate them. Wow. They really... Oh my gosh, I love this thing. Really amazing. What? It, look at the difference. If you can see, I hope you can see. I don't even know what you can see, but... Um, so I'm just grabbing the lashes at the base and pulling them up with all those millions of little teeny legs, arms, fingers. It's nice because I like to pull my corner lashes out a little bit. Um, you know, I like to go like that with them. Pull them out and up. 
it really does what it's supposed to do. Um, I can see the mascara on there. It, if you grab them with those little teeth or whatever the heck you want to call them, and you massage gently upward, it's incredible the length that you get. And it keeps them separated without being goopy. Okay, so I'm, I, ho I really hope that you guys can see the incredible lash length that I just got from this brush. I'm going to go back over here. The lighting is coming in weird. I can't see the side of my face very well. Pulled them so long that if I, I'm afraid if I do another coat, I will not be able to wear my glasses. I'll have to have them down here because the, it, they'll be brushing, they'll be crushed up against the inside of my lenses. So that, I'm impressed with this mascara. I just stabbed, I'll have to clean that up after I just, a little more awkward with doing the bottom lashes. Just grab my mirror here. So I'm going in kind of like on the side. Well, I made a mess of this eye. <gasps> Ooh. Okay. So I just need to learn how to maneuver this thing around for the bottom. It was really... Oh my goodness. This is so, so pretty. I hope you guys can see everything. Okay. Just these going real quick. This is my... Oh, you know what? I bought a new one at Sephora that day. Forgot about that. This one's almost gone. I can't even roll it up anymore. Um, but NYX has always been my favorite eyebrow product. So I'll have to try that new one that I got from Sephora. Now I like my I like them. I like my brows to taper outward, not point down. Because I don't want to pluck them at my age. I don't want to lose any hair. Okay, very good. The brows and now the blush. So I'm going to first use the bronzer, the warmth, this right here. And I like to take this brush which is e.l.f. blush brush and I put it just on the tip and you you know I like my blush high so I put my bronzer high too I like my brush cresting my my cheekbone and I like my bronzer just kind of cradling it from just underneath see how pretty that is almost works like a contour honestly on a summer day this could be just a blush Okay, and then just a little bit right there, and a little bit right here. I'm going to try the, you had me at Merlot. Okay, I'm scared about this one. So where is my blush brush? Here is my blush brush. And so I want a light touch of it. <gasps> Too much. My light touch. See if I can fluff that out or I'm going to have to pat it off with my fingers. Yep, too much. Actually, it looks pretty. <laughs> I actually like it. <laughs> I love the color. But, yeah. I'm going to need to just kind of kind of got like a little punch right there to begin with. There we go. Very nice. That's very nice. Now for the lips. And now I'm going to try the uh, Mineralist Hydra Smoothing Lipstick Trio. And I'm going to use the color. What color is that? Inspiration. It's a cherry red. I don't know how this is going to go, guys, and I'm not going to use a lip liner. Okay, so this is incredibly, stunningly red. What a beautiful... I can't tell if that's the blush or my cheek from rubbing it. 
Okay, so here we are so far. Curving it right down, get high at that other peak. Okay, here we are at first swipe. It actually came out pretty good. Okay, so I wanted to see what this was going to do without a lip liner. This is a color I would use a lip liner for. Okay, so here is the finished look. Um, I'm going to be heading out soon. So what I was last saying is I, I took my hair down. Um, so this is my finish going out to my son's birthday party. Um, but this eyeshadow kit, I was, you know, I, I like to match my blush with my eyeshadows. I like them to look color coordinated. Uh, so this, this you had me at Merlot is, I think this is the most perfect color blush I've tried yet. It's, uh, it's amazing. It's really amazing. And it's a perfect blend or co coordinated color complement, I should say. It complements these eyeshadows perfectly. So I also have another one called Exhilarate, and this would be a nicer, a, a nice one as well. It's a little lighter, um, but you just use this one with a light hand, and it would go perfectly with any of these tones. Um, you know, this is what it looks like on. And these are what's up here, so. So here is the finished look. the eyes again so you can see them I am truly excited about this holiday collection that Bare Minerals came out with this year and I will be using this combination and playing with the eyeshadows even more you know I love my silvers and golds so I gotta try I gotta try some some of these you know oh my gosh I gotta try them all so all right I am going to head out the door now I hope you all have a great day thank you for choosing to spend your time with me and don't forget to please subscribe share my channel um, and come back each week I know I missed last week I'm sorry it was just a crazy week but I hope everybody, also I hope everybody had a happy Thanksgiving. I had a great Thanksgiving. So I hope that um, everybody had a wonderful, relaxing weekend. Hopefully some of you had Friday off. Uh, I did not, but that's okay. Um, so anyways, um, one last glance. Thank you again, and I will see you next time.